think uh, so solid performance. Solid performance, performance a well-deserved win. Uh, only criticism I could say, it has to be higher, the score. It has had to be 3 or 4 no. <laughs> Eric Ten Hag really is a man of standards, isn't he? He's not wrong. Man United should have beaten Forest by more than two. But I tell you what, after the week that we'd had with the severe game, with the injuries, with the fixture pileups, Man United had excuses to not perform against Forest. They may not have won in nine, and they're relegation fodder, sure. But Bournemouth, they shouldn't have beaten Spurs. Arsenal should have won from being 2 up away at West Ham. This is the Premier League. We know that there's road games every single weekend, but United have constantly rebounded from adversity this season. And I think this weekend was a big example, arguably the biggest example of it so far. And it bodes well for the running that we've got because the running really kicks off this week. I'm going to run through it in this video. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, people. Join the community. But after that performance against Newcastle, we were worried. Of course we were. First game back from the international break, a bit like the games between Arsenal and City where there was a drop-off. In There was a long time between the games and there was a massive drop-off in performance. But what did we do? We responded with two wins and two clean sheets against Brentford and Everton at home. And you're thinking, good, now United can kick on again. We've got Sevilla and then, well, Martinez's injury. I thought that could be a moment which really did derail our progress. Add on to the fact that Varane is injured. Add on to the fact that Luke Shaw is in. I'm going to run through the injury list in a second, but we went into that Forest game knowing that we were probably going to be starting Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof, and we all got PTSD about what happened last season and what could happen this season. Because look at this injury list right now. We were all wondering, how can Man United cope this season without Marcus Rashford? We've been doing it. How can we cope without Lissandro Martinez and Rafael Varane and Luke Shaw in defence? Well, we found out yesterday. What about Sabitza being out? McTominay being out? Gee, look, it's a long old injury list. Both left backs, both first choice centre backs, our main striker. And Man United going and putting that. Every Ten Hag called it a solid performance. That's exactly what I would call it. I would say it was a little bit better than that. United won 2 0, but it could have and should have been more. And Keylor Navas had an absolute screamer of a performance. And someone who was integral to that, and we talk about injuries, players going out, players coming in. That game against Forest was the first time since the 28th of January that these three started in midfield together for Manchester United. And have you seen our record with those three together? Played 17. We've won 15 and we've never lost. We have never lost a game where Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno have all started together. That it really is an outrageous, outrageously good record. And Ericsson spoke after the game and he, and he made it clear just, just where the mentality of this squad is right now. Well, there's still uh, loads of games, but we want to go for everything as, uh, as much as we can. Uh, I think the, the league is probably uh, too far for the rest. I think we have a yeah, revenge we want to in Seville uh, on Thursday. And then after that, of course, a, a semi-final. But we want to compete. We want to be in as many games as possible. And then you have to win to, to be in finals. And Man United have got, that's what I'm talking about this week being a big week coming up. And he, and he spoke about it in terms of how different Manchester United feels now compared to the start of the season. Remember the start of the season, Brentford, Brighton, and obviously the great response we had to that. But that game against uh, Forest yesterday for me really was kind of testament to the, to the work that Ten Hag has been putting in since day one. You know, Ten Hag has always refused to be drawn upon excuses. He hates talking about the fixture congestion. It's obviously going to be affecting us. I mean, you can see that with the injury list we've got now. But he refuses to use it as an excuse. He doesn't want to talk about the injuries. Other players got to step up. And that sort of, it seems to be really coming through to these players. That's the impression I get. That's the confidence that I've been given from this team. So often this season, as I said, look, we, we, we go back and we can talk about the Newcastle result. We can talk about Liverpool or City or Brentford or all the other slip-ups, banana slips, skins, not slips, that we've had this season. And that game against Forest, because we lost Verano Martinez, we have both of our first-choice centre-backs gone. I really did fear for it. Not that I was that worried about Newcastle, sorry, Newcastle, but Nottingham Forest. But I just didn't know whether we'd be able to cope. And it goes to show, I'll tell you one thing, it really goes to show this. 
the importance of your midfield. 17 games they've started together and we haven't lost one of them. We started that game without our first choice centre-back, our, our, both of our first choice centre-backs or our first choice left-back. Diogo Delo played left-back, what, first time this season for Manchester United? I think he played there for AC Milan, if I'm correct. But look, Casemiro didn't even play that well yesterday against Nottingham Forest. I think he looks a little bit like he hasn't played that much in five weeks, lo and behold. He'll come back. No, what not worry about that whatsoever. But it was just I was just so impressed by the measure of Manchester United's performance yesterday with the constant games, with the injuries, with the concerns, with the niggles, with the switch of Ericsson into the starting eleven five minutes before kickoff. There were so many reasons that could have been used as excuses going into that game against Forest yesterday, and none of them were used. The team delivered. As I said, like no, no United fan is going to get absolutely blown away by the fact that we've beaten Nottingham Forest. Hell, we've played them four times this season and the aggregate score is 10-0. We've got their number. But yesterday, Anthony had his best performance in a United shirt. Delo and Wambasaka both really stepped up. Really did. Martial, another solid game from him. I spoke about him a little bit earlier in the show, but I think Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof both really stepped in for... Martinez and Varane. Did we play slightly differently? Yes, we did. Did we have as much confidence playing out from the ball, back with the ball? I actually think we played pretty well because we had Ericsson back in, who was really dropping deep, finding that space, being that midfielder who linked up the defence to the attack and then had Bruno in front of him. And he was just having a field day because he was playing alongside Christian Ericsson. And it's just, for me, it's, it's another example of this team that Ten Hag has built and this resilience that he's built. Because this is definitely the, the worst that the injury list has looked. And we've all had major concerns around the quality of Manchester United's squad. The starting 11, we've all had belief in all season long. But that was really good against Forrest. And for me, that showed another little, I don't know, another little element of progress, I think is what I would call it. Because Man United, too often this season, early this season, We've been relying on our, when, when there's been injuries, when there's been players dropping out, there's been a huge drop off. Now, the real test, of course, is going to be coming this week. Nottingham Forest, it was away. That was why we were concerned. If that was Forest at home, nobody would have had any concerns about that game. But we now go away to Sevilla with all these injuries. Hopefully, Rashford might be back. Hopefully, Shaw might be back as well. So it could be really even better. But we go to Sevilla on Thursday. And then we play Brighton in the FA Cup semi-final on Sunday. All of the fixture pile up and everything that Manchester United have had this season. And we're still in three competitions. That could be one competition come this time next week. If we don't get the result we need away at Sevilla and we don't beat Brighton in the FA Cup semi-final, that's going to be such a hard game. If you watch Brighton this season, they are no joke. They are no flash in the pan. They're just a very, very good, exciting team. And that will be a very difficult game for us. But I've just got, I've just, I've got, I've got to have a real element of confidence about this team. I do, and I think you've kind of been saying it quietly all season about the confidence of Man United returning. We're not returned yet until we win the Premier League or the Champions League or both. Ideally, we haven't returned. Man United aren't back. But just so often this season, I think there's been occasions where United could have reverted to character. You know, the, the full storms that we've had. But I think on the overwhelming majority of those occasions, we've dealt with it. We've coped with it. We've moved forward. And this week in particular, losing Varane and Martinez, I thought was going to be an occasion which would really affect us, but it didn't. Let's see if it does with Sevilla and Brighton, and then we can have a conversation. But I'm just, I was very impressed with that win against Forest at the weekend. The manner of it, it should have been more, as Ten Hag said at the start of the video, should have been more than two. It's going to be an issue until we sign a world-class number nine in the summer. That's why that is the most important transfer to make. But you can let me know what you're feeling about United overall at the moment. Has it changed from last week? I don't know. How are you feeling about Brighton and Sevilla and this week? Because we're still in three competitions and we may well be in three competitions come next Monday. Fingers crossed we are. But I'd love to know what you think about this, this continued resilience that keeps getting built up and up and up. 